In this video, we're going to tie a classic hopper pattern called Joe's Hopper. We're going to start off with a 52-12 dry fly hook and some uni or some UTC 140 yellow hopper thread. And we're just going to lay down a quick thread base. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to tie in the tail. For that, I'm just going to use some red hackle fibers from just a red feather. I'm going to just pull them off of the feathers. The tips are as even as I can get them. We're going to tie these in so they're about half of the length of the shank of the hook. We're going to tie those in right at the back. And then we're just going to wrap back onto them right on top of the hook shank all the way to the bend. trim off the, the butt ends there. Now the next thing we're going to do is just take our thread forward to about the two-thirds point. We're going to tie in some yellow McFly line to make the, the butt of the fly. We're going to tie that in there at the front. This way our body is nice and smooth and even. If I tied it in there at the back, this yarn is some pretty thick bulky stuff and I'd end up with a big hump back there. So I just want to nice smooth even body. Now we're going to form the kind of the butt of the fly. I'm just going to form a loop with that McFly lawn right on top of the shank and I'm just going to secure it down and I can wrap over all that McFly lawn now I'm going to trim out the excess Make sure all that is nice and secure. There we go. Now I'm going to tie in a brown hackle, dry fly hackle feather there at the back. This will kind of be the, the body of the fly. And I'll take my thread forward. Now I'm going to tie in a little bit thinner piece of McFly lawn, something not quite as thick as that piece that we used to make the tail section. I'm going to tie that in. I'm actually going to take it and I'm just going to wrap it around the shank of the hook. Trying to make that body as smooth and even as I can. Then I'm going to come up here and just capture that yarn. Trim out the extra. Now I'm going to take that hackle feather. I'm just going to spiral it forward. I'm going to counter wrap it, which means I'm going to wrap the opposite way that I wrap that yarn onto the body of the hook. So I'm going the opposite way. So really make those fibers stand out. And I can secure that that hackle feather. I kind of dropped it there at the last minute. I can trim all the excess fibers from that feather out of there. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to trim that hackle on the body. So I'm just going to trim it on the top and the kind of the sides and leave a little bit of stubble. I'm going to trim it a little closer on the sides than I do on the top. That way my wings can lay closer against the body. I'm going to leave the longer stubble on the top and the bottom of the fly. There we 
they are. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a turkey feather here and we're going to trim out wings on each side of this turkey feather so I kind of have a mated, mated pair. I'm going to trim them so that they're about the same width as well. I want the tips to stay nice and clean on them. Probably the hardest part of this fly is to keep those the tips of those turkey feathers nice and clean. So I'm still trying to get a piece here to match the other side. should end up with two pieces that both face inwards and that's kind of swoop back with the tips facing up. What I mean by that is I want those tips to kind of swoop upwards on the fly. So we're going to take these, we're going to tie these in. I want the tip of that feather to kind of come back just and touch the butt end of that that yarn. I'm going to tie them in on each side of the fly. I'm just going to do a nice loose wrap to get them started. And you can bite down a little tighter once you get it started. And you can do one side at a time if that's easier for you. A little more manageable if you do it one at a time. near side here. Try to match them up exactly the same on each side. Careful not to damage them. Kind of damaged one just a little bit here so I'm just going to pull out a little piece that I goofed up on. A nice clean base on the head for your hackle to lay down onto. Next thing we're going to do is tie in our hackle. We're going to use one brown feather, one grizzly feather. I'm going to slightly oversize them so that the hackle reaches past the the point of the hook. I'm going to tie them in both at the same time. And we'll just take our thread to the eye of the hook. And we can wrap our heckle forward trying to wrap both feathers at the same time. You can trim out your hackle feathers, trim out any fibers that kind of got caught in your wrap in your hackle. There's always a few. I can never do it perfect. You can whip finish.
and there's always a few more fibers that kind of get trapped when I whip finish. So you can trim those out as close as you can. You can straighten your wings. Usually after you handle the fly, the wings can get a little goofy on you. There we go. And that is the Joe's Hopper. Good little classic dry fly. It's been used for many, many years. It's cut a lot of trout over those years. And you can tie it in other colors like olive or green. Yellow seems to be the most popular. And that is the Joe's Hopper.